Tom Savage came in for Osweiler last week and quote unquote led the team to a win. Uh, he didn't throw for any touchdowns, but he was he was competent against a pretty strong pass defense. Uh, the Jaguars entered the week ranked 16th uh, in the full year against the pass by number fires metrics, and they've been top 12 from week eight on again entering that game. Osweiler, uh, he was six of 11 with two picks, totaling a negative 8.82 passing net expected points mark, which is negative 0.8 per drop back, which is as terrible as it sounds. Uh, Savage threw 36 times, completing 23 of them. He netted 7.39 points above expectation, a positive 0.21 per drop back. Uh, and that's comfortably above the league average, which is 0.12. Uh, more importantly, for our purposes, he threw 42% of his attempts to DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, he fi- Nuke finished the day uh, with a .48 reception net expected points per target, which is not good. Uh, league average is around .67. Uh, it was .55 if you factor out his two targets from Brock Osweiler. Uh, but, you know, we're looking at he had 15 targets uh, from Savage, 8 catches and 87 yards. The 17 targets from the full game were his most in a, in a game this year, and the 15 alone from Savage would have tied a season high. His 87 yards were his second most. Uh, he's been above 60 just four times this year. This week, the Texans are that Saturday night hammer game on the main slate. They are at home against the Bengals, who are seventh against the pass by metrics, which I don't love. Uh, Houston is a small favorite, two and a half points, against a team that's not in the playoff mix. But he's 6,600. Are you going to be trusting that volume here? 